So I'm going to talk a little bit about process. Now this is something that I'll follow up more in the workshop and it's a very big subject so I'm just going to superficially look at it and everybody's process is different so again these are just suggestions to give you a little bit of a nudge if you feel that you get stuck. So first of all is gathering material and you might do that by being outside and collecting your observations. Um, there's one thing that I find um, is really useful when you feel stuck and you don't know what to write and, and I'm afraid it's really simple it is just right and in, in doing that not to get hung up with it being right or wrong um, it's just to get something down on the page because then you have something to work with um, some people use a process called free writing so you, you really don't have um, a destination, a goal or an intention in mind, you simply have your blank piece of paper and your pen and you write whatever you feel is it you're inspired to write. Um, and then of course you can edit it. You know, you can write 200 words and just find one little phrase in there that begins another process another time. So if you haven't got your raw material down, you haven't got anything to work with. Um, and again that comes back to me for uh, it being in the present moment. I like, I like that about it, making notes. If you're out and about and you're walking, make notes, make notes, make notes, and keep doing it. Well, I couldn't help but stop and uh, just look at everything that's, that's around. It's been raining for days and there's a very magical stillness here. So I've just written a few notes and they may or may not become a poem. Um, I've used my phone, which I like to do just to catch catch some phrases and I'll see what happens when I get home and try and make this into something longer or more formal. After all these days of rain, stillness has slipped in to the space left behind, as if the storm stole away with it, the trees urged to dance, and in the interlude invited light, light to enter into each solitary liquid globe and shine, a mirror to leaves burnished by the season's whim and the paling sun. I mean, I think I just get taken by the patterns formed of all these droplets of rain in the birch trees and the gold leaves behind. It's, it's, it's really stunning. So that's just observation, just born from just looking, um, not really any interpretation in those notes at all. It's just what I feel and notice at the time. Another part of the process, you know, we talk about gathering material yourself while you're outside. Another part is researching where you are. Now we're looking at this context of wilding land or increasing biodiversity and landscape changes. Um, so research will be reading a lot of other work and, and that's to increase your knowledge base but also to find out what kind of things you like and what you don't like. So read a lot of what you like. And when you read what you don't like, don't just cast it aside, but kind of ask yourself, why don't I like it? What is it that's not working here for me? And that will, that will help you to develop your own process. So you will have your own idea of the space that you like to use for writing, and that might be outdoor space, but also you're looking back indoors when you get home. And um, I think an important part of process is finding your zone, finding the place you like to write, or the places, so you've got your table or your chair, or you might work on the floor, um, and that becomes your dedicated space. So that over time, each time you step into it and you create it for yourself, perhaps with the same kind of music, you can get back into your writing frame of mind. I would say don't be confined to a small page. If you want to get a roll of wallpaper for a few quid, and get big pens and just play on there. Um, it takes it away from the confines of, of your mind, if you like, and you can begin to see patterns in your writing or come up with new words that you might not have expected. So yeah, be free with that. Um, and when you feel that you're stuck, just push a little bit harder. You know, it's when you get to your edge and you go beyond it, that something may be revealed in your writing that is really satisfying when you look back on it. So while there is always a time to break, just push yourself a little bit and, and keep going. <laughs>